guys welcome back to the channel today's video um all my cars are driving me nuts lately so the subaru recently wouldn't throw a check engine light but i noticed my fuel trims were getting way out of whack so it took me a little while to figure that out but i did figure that out um it wound up being the mass airflow and the front oxygen sensor once i replaced both of those fuel trims are spot on now so now i know you guys see what's behind me and it really should not be an issue but i don't know we're gonna we're gonna try to figure it out um whenever i'm under like light throttle there's a slight like hiccup it's it's literally a misfire but it's no codes there's no check engine light um it doesn't even like really register it but i i feel it i feel it doing it it's pretty much the same concept that just happened to the subaru so in today's video i'm going to be pulling these plugs out i'm going to take a close look at them see if maybe i see something off um in my mind i have three possibilities of what it could be i know these jeep 40s very very well i wouldn't say i'm an expert but i i've been around the block with them so it could be a couple things it could be the plugs maybe the plugs are fouled or something because you guys have to remember this has a stroked engine so it's a stroke motor but it's not really tuned for a stroke motor it has like an off-the-shelf super chips tuner and i just pretty much put like bigger injectors in it just to compensate but it's not tuned for the stroke motor so it's possibility that there's a plug fouled somewhere we'll see when we take them out um but yeah so i'm gonna hop right into this and get the plugs removed so guys your four liter uh spark plug job will not be the same as mine unless you have a viper coil mod i have a viper coil mod so i have each individual wires which is another thing that i'm only going to do one at a time because i don't want to mix up my firing order and um we'll pull these out it's a pretty easy job um if you guys have a coil rail you'll have four bolts they'll be 13 millimeters they're really long bolts they screw actually into the head in four places right there right there and then there's two more in the back I don't have to worry about that so i literally just gotta pull wires off pull plugs out shouldn't take me very long i did get the oe champion plugs if you guys are wondering i'll show you guys what plug actually comes from the factory with these jeeps and um yeah so let's start pulling plugs we'll do one by one we'll start at cylinder one which is in the front of the motor and we'll end with cylinder six and i'll pick you guys up every time i get a plug out and we'll see how this thing is is doing here's cylinder one spark plug as you can see, it does look really good. Um, slight brown, no uh, deposits of any kind that look weird or anything. So I don't think this cylinder is our issue. Um, we might not even wind up seeing anything. The plugs might be perfectly fine. I'm gonna change them anyways, just because maybe, uh, I mean, I've never personally had it happen, but maybe there's like a defective spark plug or something and it's just missing randomly. It, it doesn't happen all the time, guys. It's only once in a blue moon. But I feel it hiccup and it's really bothering me. Shouldn't be doing it. So we'll uh, we'll keep going and see what we find. So guys, these are the uh, plugs your Jeep actually came with from the dealer. These are Champion 438 RC12 ECC spark plugs. This is what Jeep put in your Jeep. So that's what we're putting in our Jeep. Um, I always like to go with OEM for like sensors and spark plugs and everything. It's just good practice. You don't want any like weird stuff going on so this is what your plug looks like i'm pretty sure that's actually what i take out of it no i did not take that out so i'm not too sure what plugs these are they're ngk's so maybe that's our issue but ngk makes a damn good spark plug so i don't think so and um i believe your gap your spark plug gap up top there is 0.35 i always check it just to make sure you you don't know how these were treated they could have been dropped in the packages and stuff so just check your gap the four liter requires a 0.035 gap. It's very tight gap actually, it's kind of weird, but that's what it requires. So we'll gap this really quick and uh, we'll toss it in and we'll keep going. Again guys, cylinder two, slight brown tint, nothing crazy, actually looks pretty good. So no complaints there. Let's keep going. Uh, if you guys never done spark plugs before, you kind of just tighten them. They have a little crush washer on them tighten them till they like bottom out and you'll you'll feel it like when it's tight you'll feel the crush washer crush but so far i haven't found nothing so we're going down we're on cylinder three now let's pull that one and see what we got again guys number three same outcome looks pretty good 
So, cylinder so number four, here we come. Saying guys, it could be like a couple things, right? So it could be a crank sensor because there is an AutoZone crank sensor in here. And if you guys know the, the Jeep four liter, they only really like OEM crank sensors. I've had nothing but a lot of issues with aftermarket crank sensors. So that could be a possibility. Um, it could also be, like I said, the plugs. I don't think it's the plugs, but I'm gonna change them anyways. Why not? They're cheap, might as well do them. And um, it could be the injectors. So my injectors, the bodies of them are starting to crack. So maybe there's something weird going on there. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do process of elimination because there's no codes. So I'm gonna do the plugs. If that fixes it, great. If not, okay. I'll probably do the crank sensor next just because I wanna get that aftermarket crank sensor out of there. Um, I've had them go in parking lots before in like the worst possible scenarios. Um, luckily, I know a little bit of a trick to replace it. It's on top of the trans, but I'm pretty good at replacing them by now. So it's not that big a deal, but I would like to get it out of there, get an OE crank sensor back in there. And um, then we'll move to the injectors last because I, I, I don't know, man, but it doesn't take much to get a 4.0 to run. So it can only be a handful of things. Here's cylinder four, guys same thing looks fine but we discovered something that's the tip of the spark plug uh boot that's supposed to clip into your spark plug and if you look in here there's a piece of the wire in there i think we might have found our issue maybe fingers crossed i'm going to repair this wire i'll show you guys how to do that because i don't want to go buy wires and i don't think i need to i think i could fix this but I'll show you guys how to repair that. But first I wanna get the rest of the spark plugs out. I only have two left. So I'm gonna do that first, make sure the other wires are okay and nothing weird happens. And then uh, we'll fix this wire, we'll get it back on and we'll see how the Jeep runs. Maybe it'll run okay. Again, guys, these are the last two cylinders. I just pulled them both at the same time because I was already up there. I gotta climb on this frigging thing just to work on anything because it's too big. I'm not exactly tall, but these two plugs look good. I'm gonna toss these two in. We're gonna fix that wire. We're gonna see how it runs. Hopefully it runs good, hopefully. I really hope so. So all the spark plugs are in. Now we're going to, going to tackle this boot. So pretty much what we're gonna do guys, these, these ones are easy because it's a straight boot, but when you have a curved boot, it's a little bit harder. Um, I actually fixed ones on the Mustang before. So um, pretty much what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this wire out, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And I will show you guys what it looks like when we pull it out and what exactly we have to do. Don't lose your connector because we are going to reuse this connector. We, we have to reuse this. Unfortunately, guys, NGK are a bunch of assholes. And uh, they decided they were going to glue that wire in the actual thing. Nice ass Subaru just passed. Um, so NGK decided they were going to glue the wire in the boot. So I can't fix the wire because when you try to rip it out, you rip the boot. So now I got to go buy wires. <sighs> Unbelievable, guys. So what we're doing now is we are going to roll the Jeep down the driveway because I can't start it clearly because it's down a cylinder. So we are going to glide the Jeep down into that spot down there, which I'll show you guys. So we are going, or at least we're aiming for, this is gonna be very difficult because these are really big tires and I have no power steering right now, which really sucks. So we are going right here, just so I can get the Subaru out, which I didn't even wanna drive the Subaru guys. Um, we'll talk about that in just one second, but we're gonna take the Subaru. Subaru, you coming in clutch for your, uh, your big brother over there? I think so this car's been nothing but amazing guys but um i have a reason as to why i don't want to drive it for a couple days and uh you guys might like the reason why or you might dislike the reason why but uh, fortunately we don't really have another option right now so we need to go get spark plug wires <laughs> reason i do not want to drive the subaru guys is because i ordered something for it and i i just really like i don't want to drive it till it's on which a couple days it will be on there will be a video coming up soon about it it's a major change for the subaru so we're going with coilovers and i also applied for a 
ambassadorship through Raceland. So I maybe, if they approve me, maybe I will be able to get you guys discounts on coilovers, possibly. I really hope they approve me. Um, you know, it'll be the same thing like the LEDs. You'll get like 10, 15% off. I'll have a discount code for you guys and everything. Um, but yeah, so that's if they approve me. I'm still waiting for the coilovers to come from FedEx. FedEx is dicking me around like FedEx always does. FedEx is the worst shipping company ever. And I really hope FedEx is watching this. UPS is way better than you. FedEx is trash. So they said they were coming Friday. They never showed up. Then they changed it to Saturday. Never showed up. Now they changed it to Sunday. They're not coming today. Today's Sunday. So hopefully they're here tomorrow because I have a, uh, a big weekend ahead of me. Uh, one of my good friends is getting married. I'm in the wedding. So I don't really have much time to get these things on. So I'm really hoping they come tomorrow because once they're on, I need to take the car straight to my job, do a wheel alignment on it. We're going to have adjustable camber, adjustable caster, toes obviously adjustable, but we'll be able to dial in the whole entire car. So hopefully they show up. I really hope so. But let's go get these spark plug wires and get this freaking Jeep done because I'm, I've had enough. It's raining now and let's just go get the wires. So the wires we're going to use on the Jeep because of the Viper coil mod are actually from a 2002 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.8 liter. If you guys have the Viper coil mod, those are the wires that you're going to be after. Uh, they do fit. They fit actually pretty good. There's a couple long ones, but it's not a big deal. They do fit, tie them out of the way, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go pick these up, and uh, we'll come back, and we'll start the Jeep up finally and see how it runs. Our wires, I matched up the correct length wire, which is that one there. Um, if you go to AutoZone, the part number you want is 4701, which is their generic wire set. It's for a 2002 Dodge Grand Caravan all-wheel drive, 3.8 liter. I am going to hold on to the extra wires because... If this ever happens again, I have extra wires. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take some diode electrical grease, like so, and we are just going to put a little bit in both sides of the spark plug wire, and then we're gonna go clip it on. Okay right, guys, so I just got done putting our wire on. We did everything correctly. Sounds good. All right, so was that wire my problem? Was that wire my problem, or was it a spark plug, or was it something else that we didn't touch? I don't know. And there's only one way to really tell, and that is to just drive it, see what happens. Um, like I said, guys, it doesn't do it all the time, so I don't know. I can't really like duplicate it because it literally does it randomly. So it's not like something I'm doing that's causing it. It just does it. So. Yeah, we're gonna drive it. We're gonna see what happens. If you guys see another video, you'll hear me say it did not fix the problem. We'll probably be doing a crank sensor next. Then after that, we'll probably be doing fuel injectors. Um, I know it's not an oxygen sensor. I have good name brand oxygen sensors in here that are fairly new when I did the engine. So I know it's not that, but I don't know guys. I'm going to close the video out in, in the Jeep because it's raining out and I don't feel like getting wet. So I'm going to close this video out here. If you guys hear from me, it means that we didn't fix the issue. If you guys don't hear from me about this problem, it means that this fixed the issue. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was definitely an unplanned video. The next video dropping will be the coilovers on the Subaru. So hopefully that goes smoothly. It should, though they're not that bad to do on that car. And then I'm going to do alignment at work on it, but I'm going to set it up kind of like an aggressive street alignment. I'm not really going with like a daily driver alignment, but I'm also not going with like a race spec alignment, if that makes sense, guys. So I'm going to do something in between. This way it handles really nice, but it doesn't wear my tires too bad. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please drop a like up on this video. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. We are getting there, guys. We are definitely getting there to a uh, thousand subs. You know, before you know it, we'll be there. And then from there, we'll just keep going up. That's the plan, at least. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.